Worst case scenario of who could buy the pub. Hiya. I forgot my phone. OK. Worst case, aside someone who brings their own chef team. Oh, no, we'd never allow that. Not unless they made food considerably better than you two. Uh, what? Well, I always thought that your seafood hotchpotch had room for improvement. Excuse me, there is literally no room for improvement in my hotchpotch. It's exemplary. I have reached peak potch. I don't like it. Why are you still here? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Carly, if she's late again... Yeah, I know, angry face Marlon, angry face Marlon. <laughs> Morning to you too. Hey, what's up with you? Not now, Mum. I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Why later? Why not now? Does this lad know, or is it just me? What? You're back recording. Is that why you're so keen for us to patch things up? No. It's not been going on that long. How long? A few weeks. How did you find out? I followed you into town. Saw you just sneaking around. You shouldn't have found out like that. No, I shouldn't. Why don't you tell me? Because I knew you'd react like this. <sighs> Why don't you blame me? Have you forgotten what it was like, all them arguments? No. Because I haven't. I remember everything. All I heard growing up was you two. <sighs> Trying to get to sleep, it was just here, you just tearing chunks out of each other downstairs. Is that really all you remember? You don't remember the good times, the holidays, the laughs? No. No. All I remember is you crying. And me hating him for it. Well, then I'm sorry. I thought we hid it better. We should have. Maybe you were too young to remember, but take it from me. Before things started going wrong between us, you definitely didn't hate him. He was your hero. Always knew that you liked him more than me. What? Well, it's true. It was thick as thieves, proper boys club. That's why I left you with him, because I knew you'd miss him more. Yeah, you're right, I don't remember any of that. Well, it's what happened. I was the one who broke up that marriage. I was the one who ran out. Now, if you want to blame anyone, Aaron, blame me. I was a mess. But your dad... He was always a lovely bloke. You must remember that as well. All the hugs, flowers. Yeah, I remember the flowers. He did that for Sandra when he was grovelling and all. No, no, not only that. He knew I liked them, so he'd surprise me. A lot. Some things don't change. No, I'm not letting you do this. Aaron. He doesn't just get to walk back in here and start all over again. I'm not letting him do it. You end this, now. Oh, you two having a disco in here, or what? Well, better than the sound of Aaron and Charles. It's getting a bit heated in there. Charles is back with Gordon. What, well, Aaron's dad? Are you joking? Yeah, it's, uh... He didn't go down well. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Yeah, you see him. Oh, I should go see if he's all right. Just give it a while, yeah. I think they've got a bit of stuff to sort out. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. 